What's going on fam? It's your favorite entrepreneur, Base and Mental. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we got another Morgamite. Her name is Sheena Hyuga. Hope you enjoyed the video. All that good stuff. You can get right into it, alright? Recently, I've been doing this whole Naruto Soul Eater crossover. So, I'm going to continue that. Sheena Hyuga. She's a crossover between Hinata. If you haven't noticed from the thumbnail, it's Hinata. And Blair from Soul Eater, the magical cat. She was born to the Hyuga clan, but just before she was born, things got a little rough with the pregnancy. A kaiju named Feline, a cat, decided she wanted to leave her life as a trickster fighter. The kaiju, she decided to leave that life and wanted to be a human. She found the Hyuga clan because she thought why not join a powerful clan anyway I'm about to become human I'm to be able to you know defend myself and all that good stuff and decided she'd take over the daughter about to be born found out that was gonna be much harder to do so she ended up combining with her when Sheena was born she developed cat-like features she had pointier ears claws on both her fingernails and her toes and instead of her irises being white like most of the clan she had the like that cat scar looking eye she has her own thoughts and everything but feline is also current and present in her own mind and body so whatever thought she has feline can comment on it you feel what i'm saying kind of like naruto and karama it also increased a lot of her normal hyuga abilities she developed her Byakugan a lot earlier and her gentle fist was a lot more extreme and she ended up creating her own style of gentle fist because she's moving more like a cat like she was even born with a tail you know what I'm saying so people don't understand or know because it's one of the secrets of the clan that she she has a kaiju inside of her they just assume she was born different so everyone's used to it but everyone's like you know everyone has their skills yeah she loves to fight she's a, she's a big fighter she really enjoys it. Uh, she enjoys coming up with new techniques, and uh, she, in the, she, because of her increased ability and her having the, the claws and everything, she developed uh, an ability called the eight trigram twin lion palm. Yes, I know exactly what I did. If you're wondering where it came from, is it directly derived from the eight trigram sixty-four palm? So what? Don't sue me. But yeah. Of course, she. Developed a crush on Taru. Y'all know Taru Niwar. Video will be linked up above. He's the only one that really makes her sort of quiet and shut down almost. Not shut down, but like she, she sort of reserves herself around him. She'll get quiet and get shy because she, yes, she has a crush on him. Tends to get into a lot of fights with people who know her from the past of, from Feline's past. And Feline will give her tips and stuff on how to fight these people. She'll even give her energy and all of that stuff. She develops a lot of techniques through the Hyuga clan and all of that. And she still has the Byakugan. She still has it. It's increased. And that blind spot that you usually have has been covered due to Feline's presence in her body. And uh, she does have a, a release form that I didn't draw intentionally. I kind of I kind of want to, you know, leave leave that for maybe later if I decide to develop the story or just, you know, keep creating characters around Soul Eater and Naruto. Everyone in the Hyuga clan loves and respects her as a prodigy because she is just that. She's just that good. She does have extra senses due to feline's, you know, animal characteristics. So she has like six senses, very strong hearing, sense of smell, uh, agility, speed, much, much stronger than, say, the average girl or average guy. Like, she's much stronger than you would expect due to, you know, the kaiju inside and whatnot. And, yeah, she's she's a timid, she can be a timid person, but she's also very outspoken, very uh, rebellious, sometimes rambunctious, a bit of a trickster, very goofy and silly, but a lot of times very timid, and she'll watch a lot of things before she says anything. You know, she, she can be very blunt and direct with being a Hugo clan, you know, fighter. I think that's as far as I got. She's, um, yeah, I think she's pretty dope. I enjoy making the character. 
She th making this character definitely taught me a lot about how I need to improve of watercolor. I like how she turned out. I really enjoyed the way she looked. I hope you all do too. Don't forget to do me a favor. Make sure you're liking and commenting. Share the video, but more importantly, comment characters you would like to see me combine. I really, really would love the challenge. Shout out to the man Folk Lot of Rev. He left a comment saying he would like to see Ren from Blue Exorcist and um, Aaron from Attack on Titan combined, which I think is going to be a dope mix. I haven't made it yet, but I'm definitely excited to do that. Thank you, Fourth Letter Rev. I appreciate you, boss man. Werewolf Key USA, appreciate you, boss, for leaving your comment for wanting to combine Jiraiya and Spirit. That one I wasn't too excited about because Makora's mom is Tsunade. So her and Jiraiya in a relationship, like, uh, I don't know if I want to go that route because sketchy. But with Spirit being Maka's father, it, it, it helps sort of, you know, change things. But then with Jiraiya being a pervert, it falls along with Spirit, and you will always be around strippers and she's on mom, and it, it, it develops into a different story. So I'm probably gonna make that character anyway because I think it's gonna be exciting and fun. But yes, I appreciate you fellas for dropping those, and please drop more. Anyone who sees these videos, I appreciate them, I need them. Thank you so much. They're, they're gonna be dropping soon, trust me, they're coming. Just hold on for me, I gotta, I gotta make them. Like, comment, share, Subscribe. I appreciate you coming by the channel. Please come back and do me one more favor. Exercise your excuses and go create. All right, fam? I will see y'all in the next video. And I'm considering doing a video on Pop Apocalypse. Being a small YouTuber, I feel like it affects me heavily. I'm still going to continue making content. Uh, I still want to improve myself. I, I got on YouTube originally to help build me internally. Thank you to all my 87 subscribers. You all the gems. You're diamonds. I appreciate you for those who keep watching. Thank you. For and yeah, I'll see y'all in the next video. All right. Peace.